What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because we're visiting a GX archetype that hasn't had support in a very long time and it's just got the most recent structure deck. Yes, we are doing the Dark World structure deck. This deck just came out today and I'm really excited. In today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to open this bad boy up, see what's in the contents as well as a fully budget. All you need is three of these $30 deck profile. I'm really excited because I think this deck is super, super cool. And again, it's a GX archetype and you guys know how I feel about that, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on Spanko, deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays, all that good stuff. So make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned in for all of that. I'm really excited. Dark Worlds are finally getting some really, really powerful support. So honestly, I can't wait to get right into this. All right, so here it is, the Dark World Structure Deck. It's funny because a lot of Structure Decks actually get some pretty cool names, and this one literally just says Dark World Structure Deck Reloaded. Here it is, Dark World Structure Deck. I'm really excited. You guys can see here what's in the back. I don't want to expose everything just yet. I'm sure you guys have seen it before, but I think this is really cool. I actually haven't seen everything that's in here. I know a couple of the reprints, which are really nice, but I'm excited, so let's get right into it. Also, let me just mention that I think the artwork on the new rainbow is just absolutely insane. The card's really, really cool. So here we are. We're starting off with, of course, the rainbow over King of dark world so i don't want to take up too much time but let's get right into this real quick we can take a look quickly at the new cards we have the rainbow over king of the dark world this card's absolutely insane it special summons itself from the graveyard by returning a level seven or lower dark world monster you control to the hand and then if it's discarded to the graveyard by a card effect you can add a level five or higher dark world monster from your deck to your hand if it's discarded by your opponent's card effect as well you can special summon a level four or lower dark world monster from your deck or graveyard so that's really cool as well we got puppetry puppetry is an insane card so this card says target up to three cards in any graveyard and you can banish them. It's also a quick play, which is absolutely nice. Going first, if you set this up, it's really good into the tier limit matchup. And then you can literally just discard a fiend monster, which is absolutely insane because you're going to be able to get your free discard effects on your opponent's turn. So this is a really powerful card going first, going second. It's really, really good. And then during the main phase, except the turn it was sent to the graveyard, you can banish it from the graveyard and then target a banished fiend monster and add it to your hand, which is really, really nice. We got Dark World Archives. Archives is another really cool one. During your main phase, you can discard a Dark World monster. And if you do, all Dark World monsters you control gain attack equal to the level. But the thing is, that's not the main effect. The main effect that this is actually really powerful for is that if a fiend monster is discarded by the effect of a dark world or an opponent's card effect even during the damage step you can discard one card draw two cards so that's absolutely insane grapha dragon overworld of the dark world this is absolutely cool so this card essentially makes it it's kind of like an omni negate it's not really a negate what it does is when your opponent activates a monster or spell or trap effect essentially what it does is it makes that effect that you have to discard a card right which is really cool because essentially you're negating that card and you're going to be getting value off of it because if you discard another dark world monster then you're going to be getting those effects as well so grapha is really nice because it's essentially a negate and then if it leaves the field by any means due to your opponent's card effect essentially you can summon a grapha that's either banished or in your graveyard so it floats which is really nice it's pretty much a negate which is really nice and then the next card here of course we have is the ascension ascension essentially is the fusion card for your grapha during the main phase you can fusion summon a fiend monster from your extra deck by banishing materials on it from the field or graveyard so the really cool thing about this is that it's a quick play so you can still fusion summon on your opponent's turn it just says during the main phase it doesn't have to be during your main phase then we have the new one gen uh, Genta is a really, really powerful card. It's essentially a giant Rex where if it gets banished, it gets a special summon itself, but it also gets to add a Gates of the Dark World if you can just discard it from your hand. So this card is absolutely insane. Gets you to Gates right away. You got the Parl. Parl is another cool card. If this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target a Dark World monster in your graveyard except Parl and special summon it. And then if it's discarded by opponent's card effect, you can special summon to either field one of your fiend monsters that is banished or in your hand or in your graveyard. By the way, the original effect also lets you special summon to your opponent's side of the field. So that's also really relevant. And then there's Dark World Punishment, which is essentially a solemn warning, solemn strike for the deck. When a monster would be normal or special summon, you can negate the summon. If you do destroy that monster, you get to discard a card. Then if it's in the graveyard, it's protection as well. If a dark world monster you control will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this instead. So punishment's a very, very powerful card. Then we have all of the reprints here. Rainbow, Lucent, Latinum, Gold, got Silva, got Bronze, Beige, we got Brow, Scar over here. It's like these cards are really, really cool, especially the OG ones. It's nice seeing them again. Cerule is a really powerful card. Of course, we got Zor. We got Ren, Renge, Rengi. Oh my God. Okay, so this is where it gets really good. The reprints in this are absolutely insane. We have Danger Bigfoot here, Danger Thunderbird, Danger Mothman. We don't have a Jackalope, but we do have a Suchinoko, which is really nice. Lilith is another really cool card. Fabled Raven, Backjack, got Dark World Dealings. Of course, you got to be playing that. I mean, it's an upstart, right? Gateway to the Dark World, Dark World Lightning. We got Dragged Out to the Grave, Card Destruction, Forces of Darkness, Dark World Brainwashing, Dark Smog, Mind Crush, Deck Dev, 
We got Dynamiscus. We got Skildrin, which is absolutely insane. We got the Grafa over here. Oh, I love this card. Okay, we got the Grafa. We got the Snow. We got the Gates of the Dark World. And then I believe we just have some tokens. So that's really cool. I'm really excited to be getting into this because I think this deck is just so, so cool. All right, so let's get into the $30. Okay, listen, it's it's not sleeves. I know, I understand it's not sleeves, but it's a $30, three structure decks. This is 40 cards right here. I'm really excited to be showing it to you guys. If you guys want to see a full meta version with a ton of other support, let me know in the comment section down below and I will do that for you. But this build right here, three structure decks is all you're going to need. We're going to be starting off with two of our rainbow. We're only playing two rainbow. This card's really, really neat, but you only need the two. Keep in mind that this deck is essentially just really trying to dig through the deck as fast as possible. And and getting bodies on the board as fast as possible. Honestly, I think going second just makes a lot more sense in this deck because of the big bodies that you play and some of the cards that you guys are going to see later. We're also playing two Grafa for essentially the same reason. Grafa is really good to get into your fusion monster, of course, the fusion Grafa. And this deck is based off of the fusion monster, essentially. And it's really cool because with the $30 deck, you can go first, you can go second. However, again, the big monsters, you don't want to play too many of because they can break in your hand on their own. So you really want to limit the amount of the big ones. And another big one here is two Silva. We're only playing two Silva. In other builds, you guys are going to see that we're probably going to be playing three. The reason for that is in this build specifically, you don't have a lot of link monsters, right? In a deck like this one, we're using three structure decks. You're really only playing with the fusion monsters. So it's not like you can link climb and keep doing silver loops and whatnot. So because this is a $30 just three structure deck build, I think two silver is just enough. And that's it for like the bigger bodies right here. And then for the smaller dark worlds, we are playing three Genta. Genta is a terraforming for you. It's an extra body for you. You got to be playing three of these. This card's absolutely insane. The brand new card. We're playing three snow. Snow is also a searcher for you. So you got to be playing this again. Like I said, earlier this whole deck the goal is to just go through your deck as fast as possible so that you can see all the cards that you need to see right so we have three snow we got three brow here again this is a draw one when it's discarded and just like snow you really just want to get through your deck as fast as possible this card is going to help you draw cards now i will say keep in mind the bestial monsters are very relevant in today's format which is why it kind of sucks because all your monsters are essentially dark monsters however that's why we're maxing out on a lot of the good names because we just want to be able to resolve them and activate them as many times as possible keep in mind in old school Yu-Gi-Oh, when these cards were originally printed there was no hard ones per turn so you can brow multiple times in the same turn you can snow multiple times in the same turn which is absolutely insane right we're playing one beige it summons itself back from the graveyard when it's discarded so that's really cool it's a level four for you and we're playing the one ceruli ceruli is really cool in certain situations like for example ceruli plus silva because you can essentially slowly hand loop your opponent which is absolutely powerful however again in this build when you're not playing a bunch of link monsters when you can't really link climb and loop a lot you don't want to be maxing out on this so i think these ratios for the dark worlds are the perfect ratios Moving on to the non-Dark World monsters, we are playing three Bugfoot, three Thunderbird, as well as the one Suchinoko. So you guys can see here, we're not playing Mothman. Mothman is really good, of course, but especially in today's format, where your opponent's going to be discarding cards as well, that's really powerful for them, especially if you're going into the tier limit matchup. But the really cool thing about both Bigfoot and Thunderbird is that they're board breakers for you, they're big monsters for you if they need to be, and it pretty much just makes up for a lot of damage that you might be lacking in the deck. So these push a lot of damage, they have pop effects for you, which is really nice. Suchinoko is just another body for you, so that's why you're playing the one Suchinoko. But I I really like these ratios. I think the three Thunderbird and the three Bigfoot specifically for this build are very, very important. Moving on to our spells and traps, we're playing three of the brand new Dark World Ascension. Again, because this build only has access to the fusion monster, you really want to max out on this card because you want to be able to fusion summon, and that's essentially going to be your boss monster of the deck, right? So that's why we're playing three of the Dark World Ascension. We're playing two Dark World Archive. Again, the main effect for this one, like I said earlier in the video, is that you want to be able to draw cards. You want to be able to go through your deck as fast as possible, and then we're only playing the one puppetry. Now, the really cool thing is I'm actually going to be showing you guys a side deck with this. That, that's how insane this structure deck is. You can actually build a side deck with this structure deck which is crazy but for this one i think one puppetry just makes sense in the main deck it's an insane card don't get me wrong but again you can't really loop a lot of cards like you would in other builds where you have all the support so in this build i think the one puppetry makes the most sense and then of course we're playing the three dark world dealings more draw power we're playing two gates of the dark world you want to play two just because genta can search it so you're always going to be able to get to this when you need to get to this and then lastly we're playing the one card destruction essentially card destruction was the third gates of the dark world however there are situations where just card destruction is just way too important so that's why i like playing the two and the one but you guys can play three gates and no card destruction i understand card destruction can be iffy into a tier limit format but i still think this card is really really powerful and then for the trap cards we're playing one punishment and then three skill drain all right this is i think the best ratios again you're not using a lot of monster effects on the field you're really using the monster effects in the graveyard so skill drain is really good into a lot of matchups and that's why we're playing three so that's it for the main deck it's exactly 40 cards in the main deck
For the extra deck, of course, you're just playing three of the brand new Graph of Fusion Monsters. This is the only card that's provided for the extra deck, and this is the main focus of this $30 build. So you want to be playing three, of course. And then I wanted to show you guys a little side deck, because with this deck, funny enough, you actually get a pretty decent amount of cards that can be really good in a side deck. So we're playing two more Puppetry. Puppetry is really good into the tier limit matchup. Another really cool card, if you're forced to go first, is Dark World Punishment. You guys can use these essentially as Solemn Strikes or Solemn Mornings. So Dark World Punishment is really cool. Another really cool trap when, when you're going first is Three Dark Smog. So this card says once per turn. Turn. You can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. You can discard a fiend monster, and if you do, you banish that card. So that's really, really powerful again into the tier limit matchup, which is probably going to be one of the better matchups of the format, of course. And by better, I mean harder because we all know tier limits is the best deck in the game. But that's why you're playing these cards to counteract the tier limit matchup. Another really cool thing that I'm doing here is two Lilith because you don't really have a main normal summon in this deck. So Lilith can be a really good normal summon for you because it gets you access to your Dynamiscus and your deck devastation virus. So if you only picked up three of the structure decks, the really cool thing about this is that you can build the main deck that i showed you guys here but you guys also have a little pseudo side deck so if you guys ever wanted to take it to our locals you'd be prepared for that so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy that is the 3x 30 dollar dark world structure deck deck profile and i'm really excited because i think this deck is super super powerful it may not be the best out the gate in this format specifically because we just got deep fissure back to three macro cosmo dimension shifter those cards are really really powerful in today's format however don't sleep on this deck i think this deck is insanely powerful it's gonna have its time to shine and on top of that it had some really cool reprints we got skill drain we got the dangers that stuff is obviously really really amazing so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel deck profiles combo videos dual replays product openings all that good stuff and we're doing the building on a budget series also on this channel so you guys can build decks on a budget so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys all for watching and with that spank them sign it out peace